welcome to the Fish Tank Forums video tutorial series where saltwater and freshwater friends meet. As a strong and close-knit community of enthusiastic aquarists, we are always ready and willing to share our knowledge and experience with fellow hobbyists. It is this spirit that has led FTF to create this series of video tutorials so that we may pass along the basic information which creates the foundation of our hobby. Our mission is to be the best saltwater and freshwater fish forum by giving our members the respect they deserve, help provide the answers they need, the direction they seek, and share the joy and satisfaction this hobby can afford us. Cycling Your Aquarium, Part 1, The Nitrogen Cycle Why Cycle? Cycling your aquarium is arguably the single most important beginning step toward achieving success. Since the aquarium is an enclosed ecosystem, its inhabitants, fish, are forced to live in their own waste material. Without the presence of nitrifying bacteria to act upon this waste, they will almost certainly become ill, if not die. What is cycling? The term cycling is used to describe a process which continually repeats itself and, as it relates to our hobby, is a direct reference to the biological process carried out by certain bacteria commonly known as the nitrogen cycle. There is no such thing as an instant cycle, even though many products may claim to provide one. In reality, the cycle must proceed at its own pace, so patience really is a virtue. Bacteria are good? While many of us may associate bacteria with illness, the members of the family, Nitrobacteriaceae, are the gears which power the nitrogen cycle. The nitrogen cycle does not occur solely in water. In fact, it also occurs in soil and all around us every day. This ensures that the bacteria we are after can find their own way into our aquarium. Simply put, although some explanations of the nitrogen cycle are filled with technical, scientific, and chemical jargon, it is really not as necessary to know these terms as it is to understand the process in general. How it works. The nitrogen cycle is nothing more than a food chain that we can exploit to transport toxic chemicals out of our aquariums. At its core, the nitrogen cycle can be broken down into four simple stages. Step 1. Ammonia Production Ammonia is highly toxic to our fish. Ammonia is not only produced by our fish as waste, but is also created as organic matter decays. As an example, uneaten food and plant material. Under certain conditions, ammonia can become ammonium, a less toxic form that is still a viable food source for beneficial bacteria. Step 2. Ammonia Oxidation Enter the nitrifying bacteria nitrosomas, which eat the ammonia and in turn expels nitrite. A quick facts forum tip. Because the spelling is so similar, many FTF members will highlight the difference between nitrate and nitrite. Step 3. Nitrite Oxidation with the creation of a new food source, bacteria of the genus Nitrobacter begin to feed on nitrite and subsequently expel nitrate. Step 4. Nitrate Removal While nitrate is much less toxic than ammonia or nitrite, 
Removing it from our aquarium can help reduce problems such as nuisance algae growth. While there are other methods, most of us will remove the vast majority of ever-increasing nitrate via water changes.